Nikki, wake up. It's time to get ready for school. I do wet my beard. <laughs> okay, come. Good boy. Come. Ah. Hey, listen. Do you know why you wet your bed yesterday? Because I scared myself after scaring Maxine. What is that called? Karma. So today you're going to go and apologize to Maxine's mother, okay? Why did you make up any scary things? No excuses. Good morning, sleepyhead. Hey, why do you look so tired? Maxine? She was too scared to go to sleep last night. Oh, the monster again? Maxine, I'm going to make sure you don't have any nightmares anymore. You promise? Yeah. Your mother and I are going to scare the monster away for you. OK, Maxine, time to go. Bye-bye, Daddy. Bye. Zahra, flowers for you. I think Sir Azali misses you. Throw them away. Ah, yo, so sayang, Zahra. Dewi is right. Don't be wasteful. Hi. Dewi, you can keep the flowers. Uh, do you want to read the card? Keep the flowers, burn the card. Maxine, don't you want to have your breakfast? I'm not hungry. Maxine, what's wrong with the UTL? I know the boss here, you want me to scold him for you? She hasn't been sleeping well. She keeps getting nightmares. You know I was about your age when I had my first nightmare. Excuse me. I saw a horror movie on TV and every night after that, I had nightmares. Then one day, it suddenly stopped. Really? Really. And I guarantee you tonight, you won't have any nightmares. And for extra protection, you should sleep in mommy and daddy's room. I've been sleeping in my mommy's room. Daddy has his own room. God, and so do I. So, mommy is braver than daddy, is it? <laughs> Eat your youtube, okay? Auntie Mei Wan's in a good mood today. Sure, she got the KSF funding from you all. She has such wonderful plans. She deserves it. Yeah. Now, Handsome has big dreams for this place. That's the effect we hope to get by offering the funding. Yeah. Uh, how's your Lemon Lady video game? <laughs> it's Lady Lemon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, and thanks, it's going well. So what does Lady Lemon do? Mm, well, she's kind of like a fun-loving educator. And um, you've got to give me a second. I've never had to explain it to anyone before. <laughs> Memros. When is Sir Razali coming back from Jakarta? I have no idea. Zara is still very angry with him. Are you surprised by that? So, they are no longer together, is it? Hi, Grandma Jessica. Hi, Maxine. Emily, I just wanted to say sorry about the other day. You were right. I shouldn't have interfered in Lewis's matter by leaking it to the press. It's okay. But I want you to know that your secrets are safe with me. Your friendship means a lot to me. Me too. I don't even understand why I said those things. Mm. Must be the stress of organizing Yoke's wedding. <laughs> Must be. Mm -hmm. All forgotten now. Thank you so much for understanding. I better go up. Bye, Maxine. See you soon. Yeah, bye. Zina dropped this off for Zara. She made lunch for Zara? Razali told her to do it. See how caring he is? But if this is from Sir Razali... Zara will eat it if she thinks 
you made it. Understand? Yeah, ma'am. <sighs> Smells so good. Razali is trying his best for her. How come she can see all that? Ma'am, mm. Rose said he has been very bad to her. Rose likes talking behind everyone's back. How can you believe everything she says? You should have seen how he looked when Zara lost the baby. How can Razali not care about her? I go and do the marketing, ma'am. Then it's settled. We'll meet up next week to talk about the next phase of Lady Lemon. <laughs> this is so exciting. We're moving so fast. <laughs> oh, by the way, Nicky didn't wet his bed last night. Oh, good. I hope he got a good night's sleep. Well, I hope this teaches him not to tell any more scary stories. <laughs> did Maxine get any nightmares? Afraid she did. I am so sorry about that. Here comes the culprit. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hey, Anaya, join us. Sure. Nikki, Auntie Emily is here. Remember you had something to tell her? I'm sorry I made Maxine fall down. <laughs> Khalid, what's so funny? Are you laughing because Maxine fell down? Do you know about the monster story Nikki told Maxine? Yeah, it's very scary. So scary. There are no such thing as monsters, okay? Maybe we've all got to stop talking about monsters. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Shen, call me when you get this, or text me at least. Is that whiskey? What's the matter? Are you having second thoughts about Mary Shen? That was uncalled for, Charles. Oh, you think so? My head of business development is drinking whiskey in the middle of the afternoon. Even so, there's no need to make jokes about Yuk's wedding. It's okay. Well, as it happens, that's why I'm here. My friend's a journalist at ESQ Asia. They should like to cover your wedding. ESQ Asia? Really? So are you and Shen free to do a video conference interview with them tomorrow? I'll speak to Shen. Sure. OK. I'll set it up. Wow, ESQ Asia is huge. Mega huge. So please, be sober when you do the interview. I just needed to unwind a little. What happened? Did you and Shen get into a fight? He's been busy the whole weekend. Busy with what? Why do you let him do this to you? Maybe Charles was right about you. I am not having second thoughts about marrying Shun. I know what that's about. You need to get Matthew out of your head. Oh, I wasn't planning to talk about Louis and Madeline. I'm sorry if I gave you the wrong impression. Are you and James having problems? Oh, no, no, no. James and I are fine. I thought I knew what I was getting into when I married James. But his dad is divorced and so is Louis. Well, the Shelley men have a track record, don't they? When you see it up close, it sets you thinking. Look, Louis is the way he is because of Derek. And your father has had three wives. You tend to think marriage is easy come, easy go. If James and I were to divorce, I don't know if I'd be able to take it. What if he remarried? How would I explain to Maxine that she's got a stepmom? You get used to it. I didn't mean to touch a nerve. Oh, you didn't. I mean, Derek left me to marry Jessica. The fact that she shamelessly went after him is all in the past. Oh, my goodness. You must have been so hurt by it. I was devastated. It's OK. We don't have to talk about this. Jessica didn't care if I was sitting next to Derek or in the next country. She just zoomed in on him as though I was invisible. That which yeah, 
knew out of nothing. I already told you why I spoke to Cindy. Yes, because you still care about Matthew. As a friend, there's no smoke without fire, yo. You are just unhappy because I'm right and you are wrong. Face it, you've never stopped caring about Matthew. You couldn't wait to be with him the minute you broke up with Shen. Oh my god, how many years ago was that? And now it's been three whole days since you last heard from Shen. Then you can't even be bothered. Now this is about Shen. He has been postponing, introducing you to his parents. And you just accept it blindly. You're not even trying to reclaim him from his little side piece. Do not put words in my mouth. You have no idea how I feel about that. Bottom line is, you let Shen get away with murder. And why? So you have all the reason in the world to keep on saying Matthew. <sighs> You've lost it. Yo. Just forget about Matthew. What can he give you? What kind of a future can you have with someone like that? Shen, he's the right one for you. Because he's got the right credentials and bigger bank account. Just be honest with yourself. I know you don't love Shen. Not in that way. But over time, you will learn to love him. Please get up. What did you say? Matthew has stopped calling me, okay? Everything you've done to scare him away has worked. You got what you wanted. That's not fair. And I won't be calling either. Matthew and I are done. Good. Messy young lady. Hey, Em. I leave for Hong Kong tomorrow. I won't be back for some time. You gonna be okay? I'll be okay. Oh, well, if not, you know, I'm but a phone call away. James is the best father to Maxine. I have no doubts about that. It's the husband part uh, I'm concerned about. Well, gotta run. Love you guys. Bye bye, Uncle Charles. Bye. 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 Ashes? Zara, did you burn your clothes again? No. Khalid, did you do this? What's that? Ashes? Maybe from last time, I clean properly. Yes, Hop. I know you've been working very hard to stop my mother from getting the funding. Your mother delivered quite the sales pitch. Yeah. And now, she gets to spend your money. Next time, if you want some money, why don't you come to me directly? We could have some fun at the same time. <laughs> I think you need some ice water. Huh? Look. Emily is very vulnerable right now. She and James are going through a tough time. So I urge you, please, just stay away from her. What kind of person do you think I am? It's still up in the air. You said it was a done deal. They're stalling. I'm trying to get them to push it through. Are you happy with your deputy CEO's response, Lewis? I expect you to follow through more thoroughly, James. Oh, yes, sir. Hey, boys, just keep the ship afloat while I'm gone. That's all I ask of you, OK? Uh, you want to ride to the airport tomorrow morning? Yeah, sure. You know what? Let's go grab a drink or two. Yeah, sure. The asam pedas is so tasty, dearie. But um, did you add something new to it? It tastes a little different. Something new? Uh, yeah. I made it. I added more tamarind juice. Ibu? Who made this? 
Ibu. Yang ada in law. Oh my god, it's like throwing up. Zara, please don't be like this. Razali still cares about you. How can you defend him? Okay, first the flowers, now this. Where does it stop? Okay, he's supposed to leave me alone. That's why you told the police. You know what? I've had enough, okay? I'm gonna tell him to back off for good. Hey. Ibu? Give me the phone. How is Zara? Did she like the flowers? My mother is dropping off the food in 10 minutes. Razali is your husband. He deserves to be updated. How can you do this to me? Razali is desperate. He's trying to show you. He's sorry. You still don't believe what he's done to me? Sarah, can you give him a second chance? Why do you keep taking his side? You never asked how I feel, how I've been hurt? It's like he's got some kind of magic spell on. You know what? You're not the only one. I fell for his lies as well. Sir, what are you doing? Making sure he never does this again, okay? No more food, no more flowers, okay? Stop manipulating all of us. You told him you want a divorce? Yes! What are you doing? I'm not telling you because you're just going to tell Razali. You cannot leave. Don't try and stop me. Do you know what it means to be a divorcee? How people will look at you? You are a divorcee, Ibu. That's why. I know what it's like. And I don't wish it for you. This is Rosa's fault. Always putting ideas in your head. This is my decision. Stop blaming covers for everything, OK? Even when it comes to Abang, you say it's her fault. Zarin is my son. And your son cheated on Carlos. Committed fraud, and you're still taking his side? And now you're doing the same with Rosalie. You know, I really don't get you, Ibu. Why can't you see that Rosalie is at fault? And how come you're not saying, Sarah is my daughter, and I believe her? Okay, please stay. I don't want to lose you. I'll only stay if you cut off all contact with Razali. No more calls, no more messages. I want all the locks in the house changed. I never want to see Razali again. It's him, isn't it? I'll tell him to stop messaging. I'll talk to him when he comes back, OK? When he comes back? Why? I just told you to cut off all contact with him. If you really want a divorce, someone has to speak to him on your behalf. He would no. Okay, I, I, I'll block him. There, it's done. He just won't stop. He just won't stop. Okay, okay, I, I'll talk to him. Zara, I'll talk to him, okay? Huh? Hey, you and Maxine want to go up? Khaled? Khaled? Khaled, do you know where the kitchen lighter is? Ayo, where is it? Uncle, are we there yet? Almost! ta -da. You like a surprise? Yes, thanks, Uncle Hawk. Mm. Be careful, Maxine. See how excited she is. You shouldn't have. As long as she's happy. No. Listen, you have to give Zara a break. No, you, you must... I will take good care of her. You don't have to worry. 
Yes. I told you already. We will talk things over when you come back next month. Okay? Zara. I'll uh, unpack my things. Khalid, are you doing your homework? I'm writing a story. What? That sounds like fun. What is it about? It's about a big, scary monster. He has scars all over his face and big, scary teeth and sharp claws. When he breathes, he breathes fire. Wow, that's quite scary. Where's Maxine? Uh... I went to the washroom for five minutes and you took your eyes off her? Sorry, I had to take a business call. Maxine! Maxine! Hey, there? Oh. Hey, what? Oh. What? Ah! Are you okay? Who's looking back at me? It doesn't bother me that you cut off ties with your family. That's your choice. But it's a luxury that Jock doesn't have. Once you're a Shelley, you're in it for the long haul. Till death do you part. I understand. I certainly hope so. Your job is to take care of Jock. When she needs support, when she needs affection, when she needs to scream blue murder at someone, you will be there. No questions asked. Do you follow me? <laughs>